Jay and Ghost are the riding coordinates. Watch for that. Enemy spotted me. They're on my... Repeat. I'll head into the rally point now. Over. Hey guys, GA Ghost here, and uh, today we're going to be doing another gun video like we always do in this channel. Well, not always. Yeah. Okay, well, it's our first ever video. We did the Glock 23, a nice little pistol. It's very good. But today we're not going to do a puny little pistol. We are doing M4. Now, um, my, this is my M4. As I said, uh, as I said in one of the comments, we were going to do bigger guns and everything. As I, was, as I was saying, I have a couple attachments for this gun. As you can see, I have an extended barrel right here. It's better for accuracy, better for the range. Not much range, but still. You have a tripod with a foregrip. You know, in case you ever have it front like that, you think it's too many and you can't hold it up anymore. You can always just push this button right there. Boom, little tripod up, comes out for you. I have two different mags, one bigger than the other. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. Well, as I was saying, so let's get into a little bit of detail. Now that I was saying, we're going to get into a little bit of detail. So, as you can see, the M4 has an old rail system, so I can have any attachments I like on the side, bottom, other side, or top. Over here where the iron side is, it's got a full retractable stock, so I can put the stock back if you like it long, or short if you like it short. Well, as I was saying, I prefer it in the middle, because, you know, it's where I am. So, alright, now we're going to get into a little bit of detail of the attachments. Now, as you can see here, I've got one long barrel. So, when you're touching your long barrel, you always have to make sure it's going the right way. As you can see, I'm not putting the right way. Okay, as I was saying, going in the right way. So, let's just put that all nice. If you're gonna ask what this white stuff is, it's, um, well, oh, don't know what it's called in English, but still, it helps the grip of this so it does not come off. You see? So, let's just turn this on. Just like that. Nice and short. As you see, now the barrel is much longer, better accuracy, better range. Okay, now let's get on to the foregrip. As I was saying, the foregrip, you ever get tired of holding your gun, click that button, and you're free to go. Now, the only problem with this is that it's a pain to get back on if you're not doing it properly. It's like it has to be a proper, proper standard. If not, nothing goes right on it. So, as you say, as I was saying before, with the same thing with the um, long barrel, anywhere you like to put it, there, 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 or there, anywhere you want. So, just put that on right there like that. Just have to screw it on there. Which way, either way you go, wait, wrong way. Screw it on that way, and boom, you got yourself a nice little foregrip. See that? Boom. So now that we got that, we can easily just click that, and boom, we have a nice little laid it out right there. Boom. Now let's get on to the back. I have got a, t a 12G battery, so this thing can lay up to four hours. I've got another one, so that's eight hours of me playing on the field. Now it's simple. Simple as anything really, you just plug that into there, whoops, whoops wrong way, oh, we got all over the place today, alright, you plug that into there, simple, now you got two different sides there, is the camera, the longer one always goes on the left, on the right, sorry about that, and the short one always goes on the left, and that always goes to the top, through that little hole there, as you, I can't really see properly since cameraman's all the way holding it back there, right there, there we go, right there, and there we go. Now, this, you always have to make sure you got it right. If not, it would not fit. There you go. That goes there. There you go. As you can see it. Oh my god, this thing. The barrel is making it even harder for me since I never usually do it with the barrel on. That goes there. There you go. There we go. Nice and tight. So usually, if I would ever put the battery on, I'd have that like that. So it doesn't you know, interfere with hold, hooking onto there, if it ever does feel like it. Now, as I was saying, I've also got a, <coughs> oh my God, I've also got this, so I can, 
I mean, easy as hook it onto there, hook it around, over my head, over my arm. There we go, fully nice, an M4. Now, as I was saying, I've got two magazines, one longer than the other, don't ask me why. The, this came with this one, so we're going to use this one. You can see, looks perfectly good. Oh, there goes the shot. Looks perfectly good. Look at that. Nice and lovely. Alright, so let's go ahead and test firing range, like the first video, and let's go test it out. Okay, as I was saying, we're back at the firing range. As I was saying, let's go. Not really a firing range in the first video. Best we got. Well, we have to do what we got. Alright, so we're going to test this out, see how good it handles. That's that, that's sitting down. Now I'm gonna come back here where I set up this little brick. I'm gonna try with the tripod. Try All right, between these two bricks. And let's start. Make sure it's feeding. You always gotta make sure your gun's feeding. If not, you're never gonna get the hit. Alright. Well, let's just put that back. See? It's a pain to put on. Well, anyway. So, as I was saying, gun's really good, reliable, handleable. So yeah, let's make sure it's feeding as well, as I already said. If not, never gonna get that hit. So, as I was saying, this is Ghost Airsoft, and have a nice day.